go. For most of the year, I would have been delighted to hear a warmer weather forecast. But since we've had snow now for about a week, it makes me super sad to hear that it might be gone in a day or two. So we have to fully enjoy it, even though I shouldn't, because I've had a really bad cough for about a week now. And the cold weather every day is not making it better. But it's so beautiful. I needed to just come here quickly and see the cottage in the snow for the last time. Maybe we should turn on the lights, even though I'm not sure we will be able to see them. I don't really know if you can see it, but light chain or not, I love to see the cottage in the snow. We have frost on the window. I <laughs> fully frosty windows. I have some tiny footprints around the cottage. I think it's a cat. Besides from picking up a few things, there is one thing I want to do before I leave. I want to see all of the cottages in the snow. So I'm just going to walk around and have a look at them in this winter wonderland. My neighbor's cottage is also wonderful in the snow. The black color is such a lovely contrast to the snow. <laughs> oh, I need to walk here. It's so slippery. We have another yellow cottage in here. This is what allotment gardens used to look like back in the day. Just a tiny shed and then with most of the garden where you can plant veggies and herbs. So that's basically just a shed. I think if I were to pick out a different cottage from mine and from my neighbors that I absolutely love, I think I would pick this one in here. It has so much potential. I love the windows and I think it's so charming. Let me know what you guys think. I think you're gonna like it. It's like an abandoned small pearl with so, so much potential. Like, look at the windows. Is also yellow and the green door is beautiful I hope you can see it from here such an adorable house but it's empty it's not getting much love that's sad another yellow house in there It's quite funny to see the blue house in the snow. It used to be dark red and then the owner painted it blue um, this or last summer. It's also cute. And that's his garden, massive veggie garden. Another yellow house in there. Another typical allotment garden, shed, and then just plenty of space for veggies. Oh, it's cold guys, I really need to leave. And then another favorite of mine, of course, my neighbor's cottage. Oh, we got birds in the garden. Is it Egon? Egon! I know that this is super partial, but I do think I have one of the best cottages in this area. Yeah, I love my little pearl, but I need to leave. So cold. So I'm 
basically here to pick up some Christmas decoration stuff and also my warm slippers. I miss them in the studio. So um, I'm gonna go. It's way too cold here today um, and I have stuff to do. Let's go. <laughs> Isn't this a pretty homey setup, considering I don't have an actual home at the minute? Today's video is sponsored by Simple Retro and it's a collaboration I'm really grateful for because my December didn't really start out in the best way possible. With a breakup happening the day before December, I found it incredibly hard to feel creatively charged this month. And a way for me to feel good is by looking good. If I look good, I'll feel better and I'll heal quicker. <laughs> so I'm really blessed that I've been able to pick out a few pieces from Simple Retro that I want to try on and show you here now. I'm gonna leave all the links to the pieces under this video and I also have a discount code on 10% off in case you fall in love with something. And um, there's a risk of that I must say because the first item to begin with is the sweater I'm wearing I'm also wearing trousers um, I shouldn't have been wearing them <laughs> right now but it's such a comfortable set I've been wearing this sweater too much already and it's so soft it's so nice and thick and lovely for this time of year so the sweater is paired with a lovely classic pair of dark brown trousers. They're so lovely, um, high-waisted. I absolutely love it and it's perfect, perfect for winter. You can, by the way, also get this sweater in a dark version that is equally as beautiful. And the next piece up is a really classic that's the thing I love about simple retro everything is so classy so like just like elegant so this dress is in brown tones and yeah has beautiful golden brown buttons it is again thick really lovely for the cold weather that we've had <clears throat> sorry um, my lungs are still playing with me I'm trying my best uh, I might cough from time to time. <laughs> I do that. It's all I do these days when I'm trying to sleep. Um, I don't sleep, I cough instead. So I'm gonna make sure to write the sizes I got next to the links under this video. The next piece is also super elegant and simple. It's a dark brown um, pencil skirt. It has the same type of buttons and some brown velvet here on the pockets. It's super cute. I love the length of this. It's not too dark. It's not too long. It's not too short. Um, and it's thick. Great for winter. And I decided to style it with this sweater, which I probably shouldn't have done because the button fell off on the back. It was just um, a little bit too much. Yeah, so. <laughs> this next piece is one of those things that I definitely should not be wearing right now when it's this cold. So it's probably gonna stay in my wardrobe until springtime. But it is such a beautiful green floral dress. I love this green shade. It's my favorite. I love the delicate floral print. It has strings on the back. This is, by the way, a size medium. I took the size of my hips. I'm a size medium on bottom and a size small on top and it's really really pretty to make it slightly more appropriate for winter I thought I could style it up with this beautiful beautiful cardigan with embroidered flowers on it the flowers even have like a tiny pearl in them it's really stunning and I think it works decently even though the best thing if you ask me would be to wear the dress without a cardigan on top because it's really pretty um, so a really stunning white or like cream cardigan 
<coughs> sorry <coughs> I got it in a size small because I don't want it to be super oversized but that's definitely like up to the wearer the wearer <laughs> I've saved my own two favorite pieces for last this is the skirt it's so beautiful it's a thick brocade material the color scheme is so like castle elegance I mean it speaks to my heart it's also a pencil skirt I love the length it's quite long thick which makes it perfect for winter this one actually really hugs me um, both on my hips and in my waist I think it, it works really well it's a size medium um, so absolutely stunning and wait till you see the top because the top is the perfect match so adorable it has the same brocade print here it has lace lace sleeves it's so cute I love that it's cropped because that makes the skirt very visible um, it kind of looks like you're wearing a one piece like a dress but it's two pieces and it's it's so stunning this is so pretty and that was all of the pieces I picked out from Simple Retro. I'm gonna leave all of the links down below. Please comment which item or outfit was your favorite. Thank you so much to Simple Retro for sponsoring this video. And uh, cheers. <coughs> cheers and coughs. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna see you all soon.